Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Rock Life, the Rock Simulator. We got a new update for the game, very important to know about because this is the greatest game ever. And now, if we change scene, there is a new scene, which is the river. I don't think there's any other ones, so let me go back to it. I'm gonna pick a stone appro appropriate for it, I think. Don't know which one exactly. That one kind of looks like right. Oh, maybe? I don't know. It could probably be any of the rocks. <clears throat> but this brings up another scenario for us to think about. Being a rock in a river, feeling the constant rush of the water going past, changing the river as, as, just over time. Just, I'm, I'm so glad to be back here again because there's, there's so much more I could talk about rocks for some reason. I don't know why. But this time I'm also going to hide the UI, hide the cursor because I can do that. Just take it off the screen. But just... It's, it's so interesting to think about the rock, just in all these different scenarios, watching the, the world change, watching watching the water go by. Oh my goodness, just think about all that water passing every day for a lifetime. Maybe the water will stop at some point, maybe it will freeze over or something will float along the water. The water. <laughs> Apparently I can't just say the T in that word for some reason. Water. That's better. I can switch accents, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, just the r r rock in different scenarios. So let me, I, I kind of wanted to touch on this, which I think I might have last time. But I want to think about a rock watching human civilization. Because it will do that. It will watch humans learn all the different things that the humans will learn and it will even be a part of that in some cases with like different types of experiments and stuff making a wheel making lovers just all those kinds of things you'll also watch different events happen throughout human history as well it's interesting to think about that perspective of watching all of those things happening seeing the growth of something that it will see for its whole life. The, the rock has seen the beginning of civilization, basically. It, but the, the, a rock can't do that, it can't... Uh, it can't experience it the same way. It can see it happening, but it can't build its, itself. It can't move, it can't do anything. All of a, a rock's experience is what it can see and what it can feel. Also, just a rock just in water just kind of makes so much sense, but it's something I didn't think about last time. But like, think about a rock being under the water, above the water, like deep in the ocean. It will have such a different experience. I'm talking about experiences already. That's a good sign. Man, on top of the, like a, a rock on top of a mountain. Just imagine being that rock. Watching the whole area around that rock. On the mountain, around the mountain. Just everything, basically, in that whole area. That rock will have, will have so much experience from one position. And you'll see the people who come up the mountain to see that rock, basically. I, I really have to appreciate rocks on top of mountains more often. It makes me think of that idea of, like, stacking the rocks higher to make them get even higher for the like the mount bring up the mountain's height but it also means that we're putting those rocks up there to witness everything around the mountain and some of those rocks up there will just not have seen what's around they'll just be just out of sight of everything and that would be a, a, a incredible experience to go from seeing basically just the the ground around it to the whole world around it basically all it will really have is just the sky, pretty much. But that's still interesting. 
still very interesting. It would be interesting to see what a rock would think about, like, fish and birds, different animals. Even watching leaves just, like, grow and fall off of whatever they were growing on. Having them blow around. Having them just break down into dust, dirt. And a rock will, will see, like, buildings and villages and towns grow, grow into cities. Roads. Just, it'd be crazy. Especially if we want to go back to Roman roads and think about that, because they used rocks for them, I'm pretty sure. And that would be interesting, being part of one of those roads. Just as one of, one of the many rocks. It's just crazy to, th to think about. Just because we don't think about it. We can't experience the same thing as a rock. But it would be quite the experience. Watching a rock could see the trees grow and then and fall and grow again. That's that's kind of a crazy thing to think about as a human. But a rock could just watch that every day. Every year. The whole process in a snap. In comparison to its whole lifetime, at least. I wonder if time would feel faster to a rock the more it lived. Or if it would just feel, at, like at a certain point, it would just feel the same. Think about, like, rocks with animals, fish, dirt, just anything, really, just passing by on a river or something it would be so interesting. But also, like, insects, like ants crawling over the rocks with whatever they have. Snails. Ants. Anything. It's, it's, it's so crazy to think about. I've run out of things to say at this point. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just here for the experience of it. Because like I said last time, it's it's something that we don't appreciate because it's, it's... But it could... It should be what we appreciate. We have to make the most of every experience we have, every moment we have. think about a rock as part of a castle. We could think about a rock as part of a, any kind of building, a roads. We could think of it as part of a garden. Part of a cliff. It'd be such a weird experience to be part of a cliff because it, was, it can see like, like a, a completely flat cliff, that is. You can, like, it can see, like, the vertical world. But it, would a rock know what up and down is unless it, like, fell? For, like, the first time? Would it really know what that feeling is? It could see the world from a completely different angle just as part of that. It'd be interesting for rocks to discover what water means, like how they 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 sink in it, and by having the the water, they can think about what's outside of the water. Is that like water itself, but like the opposite of water, just the air, the atmosphere? I 
I could really just sit here and listen to the music, just in complete silence. I really hope they add, add that they add more map like scenes to watch. This one is a really good one because it, 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 having it move just adds a lot to it. In space would be the one I'm really hoping for. I think that there should be ones where the rock is moving and see how that's what that's like. Like the scene around it would be moving because that's how that that's how that works. But I don't know exactly how that would really work. Exactly. Also, I think they should have like a day and night cycle so you can watch the. The different things happening. It would be also cool if I could actually like look around, which I don't think I can. Trying different things. No, but it'd be like, I think it'd be nice to be a rock and look at the sky. Just to watch that happen. Watch the clouds. It's so, it, it's, it's very simple at the moment, which is good because that's the, that's the point. But it, for the, the, the experience that I'm trying to build onto here, it's, it really needs some, more, some more things to it. I mean, this is pretty good. I've already, I already love this game. But yeah, I'd, I'd like some more, more to it. Any, any, anything new to it will add to my experience that I've already had with this game. I wonder what things a rock would see just around it over time, like people fighting, people being playing together, working together. People alone, people sad, people happy, people angry. And sometimes it won't see those things, but we've already talked about the the rock being able to talk with other rocks to get the full ex like full experience of the universe. E eventually, over time, it's just such a beautiful thing. I've been trying to tell people about this game in real life, and they've, they they th they think I'm joking, but I I really, really like this game. I just wish I had more time to just do nothing and watch this rock for a hundred hours. I mean, it only takes four days, but I have to actually do stuff, using my computer on those four days. So, it's hard to actually let go. That's the, that's the real thing about this. This this game is the the perfect example of that. This game is the point of this game is to let go. But it's so hard to do that. Like right now, me talking is me not letting go because I feel like I can't be silent and just let this happen. I have to actually keep talking. I have to keep the conversation going with myself. But I, I the whole point of this experience is to let go. So I should be I should be silent really. But I, I I'm not going to because I want to keep talking into the the fascination I have with this game basically but I, I should it would be quite an experience to just let go let the rock be on for a hundred hours it would also be cool to have like different events happen just randomly it would be cool to watch the the actual civilization and animals happen around this game because right now it's just the environment but actual creatures and civilization growing. Like the the rock's life actually changing the scene. Like the scene like the rock being like falling off the mountain. Being picked up by a person being put somewhere else. Being built into something. Just there, there it could be like a choose your own adventure, but it, it's just like a, a random chance of whatever happens happens from that point in the story. And it could always loop back to where it was originally. Or maybe like the, the landscape, the scene itself could actually be randomly generated. Like this river could be different every time you load it. It would still have like the basic stuff set to it. 
but it could be different and you could watch it change over time. I think it'd be cool to just have time as a part of this experience, just to watch everything happen. It'd be cool to also be able to like speed it up because a rock wouldn't know much difference because it can't do anything. It would still be good to watch that whole thing happen slowly. But yeah. Because you want to experience every moment. You don't want to you don't want to blink as a rock. You've been given the ability to just watch, observe. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just let go and watch. So relaxing. Something I do when I'm like trying to sleep is just try to think of me relaxing by myself somewhere. And I feel like this is something that I should actually use for that, probably. It's just me watching a like being a rock. I'm not sure how effective it will be, but I I would I think that would be cool to do. Like imagine being in a field watching a volcano or something like that. Watching like a tsunami, watching I don't even know. Landslides. I I, I really don't know. Some kind of explosions. People building, like, oh my goodness, just watching the pyramids being built or something. Even though that would probably be a little weird. If you could just, like, be watching it from a distance, not actually seeing anyone. Just seeing, like, it being constructed, like, the blocks being in place over time. Like a rock in a garden watch, watching the people who live at wherever that place is, live. I think it would also be interesting to be like a closer perspective on the rock. And and be like under, underneath the, the growth of a bush or something. Like... You're in the middle of grass, but then somebody comes along, cuts the grass, and then for the first time, that rock can see the world around it. Maybe somebody will pick up the rock because it's not supposed to be there, put it somewhere else. I really want to watch the sky right now. <laughs> Especially with that other scene, which is just the, like, guard, like, the, the rock garden. Being able to watch the sky would be cool for that. Or being able to watch people put more rocks into their rock garden. Being underwater would always be cool looking up. Watching the stuff happening above the water from the perspective of the rock. Because this, this the rock could really experience anything from any anywhere. It could be a... Like a rock on a, rock on a set. Like a movie set. Watching the movie happen around it. Being put into place and then moved away again. A rock can experience so many things. In so many ways. There, there are endless possibilities. Of a, of a rock life. This, this river is really nice to watch past, past the rock. This and this rock is going to feel the effects of over time. So, but it's going to take a very, very long time for that to really be felt, I guess. It'd be interesting for a rock to feel the cracks in it. The, the, the edges changing over time. Smoothing or becoming rough. So many things. Being used as a weight. Hmm. Maybe like a rock as 
like part of a animal enclosure or something like that. That would also be interesting. Again, it would probably take a lot of work for the the developers to add more stuff to this that's going to make it pro possibly run slow because this game is, as it is, probably very taxing. Not that I've really noticed. But just, there, there, the simple thing about being a rock is just there's so many possibilities and I want to experience them all now. I want to be a rock forever, basically. It's such a weird thing, but it's so cool. And I thought when going into this that I'd just be... I mean, I am basic, basically making everything up, but I thought I'd be like, this This is so silly, funny. But no, I'm, I'm very... drawn in by this experience. <laughs> a lot more than I thought I would. Just imagine, like, the... the sticks in the river, like, clutch, gathering up over time, getting stuck. Like a log. Just anything. A boat. Passing us down the river. Maybe even a bridge could be built. Like, o over us or around us. For, like, from us. Become part of the bridge. Become part of a dam. Have the water going over us or something, I don't know. Become waterfall. Be inside the waterfall. Be on a beach. I don't know. In a jungle. I don't know how how likely that would be, but anyway. Being able to watch a, a field like a farm or something. Even like being the moon <laughs> would be cool to just watch. Being in space at all would be just cool. As a rock. Being far away from planets, being close to planets. Being on other planets. Be traveling around. Like flying through space. This game is actually making me tear up at how beautiful this experience is. No joke. Real tears. I found I found myself after the first video just looking around my room, breathing in the experience. Because there's just so much detail in everything. And we just overlook it because we, we don't let go. Just slow down. Imagine being like part like the rocks around like a campfire or something. Just watching the fire. Like watching fire at all would be interesting. Like even if it's a, like a house burning down, which wouldn't be great, it would still be interesting to watch from the perspective of a rock. Being in the fire. Even. The heat it would feel from being next to the fire. Being a marker, baby. I think a stepping stone would be good. It's weird to think about that, though. <laughs> like, I, I'd be okay with being a stepping stone. Something I never thought I would be okay with. Just as a random thing. Swamp should be grateful. <laughs> the Womps should be smiling. And they get to move. They get to experience more than the, the general rocks.
maybe even a rock, like, being out, like, a, a, as an event, rolling down a hill or something. Being in a cave. Being in some kind of mine, I guess. The possibilities are endless. They might take a bit of thought to really think about all these different things that we could experience. Even like a tiny rock could be anywhere, basically. And stuff like being built out of rocks. Even if it's, you know, broken down and mixed with other rocks and stuff. It could still experience so many things. It'd be interesting for a rock to be like a, a geode or like b b being gems or stuff because they're, they're technically stones. Technically. <laughs> Different kind of stone maybe. But it'd still be cool. I'm letting go a little bit now, right now. <laughs> letting go right now. And it's nice to just breathe it all in. I feel like I've looked at the same things a few times on the screen, but there's so many more things to look at. The way the water ripples, the way the grass, gro like, it moves and where it is. I'm just overlooking it so easily, but now that I'm I'm slowing down, I'm actually taking in a lot more of the detail. And it's weird that it's taken this long to actually stop and take in more. Because I've been looking around at stuff, but I actually haven't been taking in as much as I could be. Because again, I'm I'm not letting go as much as I should. Maybe this kind of experience is why we have stones as like grave markers. Because the stones will stay there and take stuff in. They will last so long. And they represent an experience. A experience that, they, that only that rock will know. gonna take a second here we can also adjust this the volume now as well as everything else that we can do but I want to look at the the rock garden for a second because I'm underappreciating it because it's not moving as much but it's still an experience there's so many things to look at so many so many other stones so many other like all these rocks here could actually just be communicating and because the walls being made of rocks you could they could communicate what they can see from the outside and the rocks inside wouldn't see it but they could they could still know about it they could still wonder what it would be like and eventually with enough time i guess they would be able to see what it is out there being able to watch the sky the clouds the star sun the stars the moon 
being a rock would be such an interesting experience, as, especially because we could also, as a rock, not have to sleep. We could, we could watch every day and night, which is something we don't really get to do because night just is something we don't experience, basically. It's a weird thing, but we just don't experience the night. And a rock could see all the different places that it can see at night. Being able to watch the, the sunrise and the sunset every day. We would count down to watch those events every day, probably. We'd still be interested in everything else around us, but we'd, we'd be waiting for the, the best parts of every day that we enjoy. And we'd get to experience each one, because each one is going to be different. Even if it's mostly the same, it's still going to be something to very different, I guess. And like with the the slow changing of the poles and all that, the, 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 the rock would get to experience all these, like every rock on the planet would still be able to experience the sunrise and sunset at some point. Some more than others, some less than others. Imagine being a rock where you never know what night is. Where you never know what day is. Imagine being in a place where you don't know what seasons are. And it's just mostly the same. Being a rock in like something very, very old. And then being discovered, and watching whatever has discovered it, go, go be around. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to leave it there, because it's getting late, and I'm as much as love to watch a rock. Like, I probably have to stop now, so. But anyway, thank you all for experiencing another video of rock life with me. I hope you'll experience more things in your day or night. I hope you'll experience so many good things. And I hope you'll come back to experience more with me. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.